Hi, hello. Welcome to our new platform of learning. Uh, for now, we will do online study. I hope that every one of you are doing well and yeah, keep safe, everyone. Uh, I'm going to teach you about uh, machine learning and data science. Um, the, the curriculum is going to be uh, very hands-on. Uh, you know, you know, yeah, you can you can use your own computer. And as we walk through from the start to finish of uh, becoming uh, knowledgeable in machine learning and data science, uh, I'll take you from the beginning. And actually, I'll teach you uh, Python and how to use it in a real world as our project. Um, don't worry uh, if you don't like um, programming. Um, once we go through uh, this uh, basic mach what machine learning 101 and Python, so then we um, going into the advanced uh, topics. Uh, it depends on uh, our time. But yeah, I know that some of you don't like programming, but yeah, let's see. I'll teach you about uh, basic Python 3 programming. And some of you uh, have a knowledge about it, uh, like Chaidan. Uh, maybe some of you uh, know knows this, or, knows this already. And I'll teach you about data science and machine learning, projects and workflows. We will uh, explore data and we will visualize the data. And uh, using Python uh, with the tools of Matploid library and Seaborn. Uh, these are some tools that are uh, used in our mach um, data science. We will be also using Pandas uh, data frames um, to solve complex tasks and we will use Panda to handle uh, CSV files and lastly um, key nearest uh, neighbors of uh, one algorithm another algorithm in uh, data science. So, these are all the um, topics that we will study on um, this curriculum and hope that uh, you will like it because it's uh, another presentation of data that we have. Now we have a COVID-19 so how we have lots of data coming so how are we going to visualize how to analyze the data that we have. So um, this Panda, this machine learning or data science uh, from this um, learning uh, after this, you can be able to uh, get uh, more okay, from that data we have so we can visualize and we can explore uh, those data. Um, let's start. Uh, what is uh, programming language? If someone asks you these questions, can you answer it? So maybe most of you can answer it because we've been studying programming since you were M4, so I thought uh, I, that you, you can answer it. So programming is simply a way for us to give instructions to computers. We give it instructions manual and the computer follows without code. Computer programs wouldn't do anything. You wouldn't be able to move the mouse around on the screen. You wouldn't be able to Google things. You wouldn't be able to play games on your phone right so well, i can't just tell you my computer what to do you see computers don't understand english or any other human language for that matter so what language do computers speak well they speak in ones and zeros all electronics speaks that language of on or off zero or one but writing ones and zeros would be a gibberish or a nonsense for us uh, it's hard for us to communicate like that can you imagine you're reading zeros and one if you're uh, writing a message to your friend or somebody and using the zeros and one so it's nonsense right so humans have developed programming language that are in between uh, human language and machine language that is zeros and one for some
write into ones and zeros so that uh, our machines can understand. Well, we need a translator, right? We take our code that we write that we can uh, we call our source codes within a programming language, and we give that to a translator that can understand the language but also understand machine language. And this translator just translate these files for us. So what is this? So translator is not a uh, persons, right? Uh, I'm not giving my code uh, to somebody and it's going to just start shouting at the computer and be quite silly. So what is this translator? Well, it's another program written by a human. It can be either a, an interpreter or compiler. Now, Python usually use an interpreter, usually an interpreter. Just like a translator goes line by line our code and executes our code on a machine. Compilers are a little bit different. You take your code all at once, read the entire file at once, then translate that to a machine code. So again, interpreter goes line by line and each line executes the instruction compiler. Compiler takes the entire file and turns it into a machine code. Now, the difference between the two are little complicated and beyond the scope of our decoders. And don't worry, we're going to come back to this topic, but I want you to just have the general picture and that when we write the code, whether it's Python, JavaScript, Java, C or C++, what we're doing here is we're, we're typing it in a language that is a human readable we're giving it to the ones of this translator like interpreter or a compiler and these spit out of code that are able to run in our machines so the review the, to review interpreters translate line by line and execute the line before going to the next line compilers translate all lines of a program to file usually called a binary and execute the whole file at once now in the next video we're going to uh, talk about this process open up a text file like this one and you started typing a python code but for now we don't know python so let's just say i want to go and search for uh, covid19 well this might be a code that we don't know if it is but i can just use this right i mean this is not really Python code, but how would my computer know what I am talking about in order for us to start writing Python? Uh, we need to download this translation service in the next video. I'm going to show you how to do that.